welcome back to Red Ted Art and today is all about um um a turtle night desk or a seat like seat sitting on it um, like this that's really good isn't it and it's made from recycled materials um, we sit down again and have a look at it it's made out of over here bottles like these were um bubble water bottles Bottles. Yeah. And it's made from newspaper, paper mache. Newspaper, paper mache. And uh, acrylic paints. Now, acrylic you have a really good paints. tip about the acrylic uh, paints. You said if you don't have acrylic paints, what can you use instead? Um, oh yeah, you can put you 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 put glue inside the paint. Um, you put glue inside the the paint, and then mix it a bit. Yeah. Effect, all right then let's show how to make it yeah so let's go through what we'll need for this activity and um, firstly you'll need seven seven uh, bottles big bottles um, any bottles you can get but they should be the same they must match so that they're all the same height mine happen to be green and it took me ages to collect them which is why I'm so excited to do this craft so seven bottles in my case green um, some string or some tape and um, newspaper and some flour and water because that's what you'll need to make paper mache paste and that's literally is it for the basic stall later of course we will be using um, some acrylic paints to get and decorate it but anyway let's get making so the first thing we need to do is sort of connect the, the, the bottles now the reason I'm doing that is because um, they will otherwise kind of jiggle and wiggle about. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get three of them because I want the centre one to connect. And all I'm doing is tying a little bit of string around. You see, because they do wiggle and jiggle around a bit, don't they? Um, and it's, it's just to kind of help hold them in place. And you'll just paper mash over the string later. You can use tape if you want, um, or like in my case, string, which by the way, I have recycled too. So I'm not using extra materials. Here we go, make it nice and tight. Uh, you can sort of jiggle it round a bit and then just cut this off so it doesn't stick out. Right, so that's the first three connected. Now I'm gonna connect all the others round the outside. I might have to knot two of my bits of string together just to make sure they fit. And quite handily, these bottles have got these funny little grooves on them and they're really good to hold the string in place. So I'm gonna just align them with the groove. Here we go. If there's two of you making this, it might be a bit easier because um, then you can help each other hold things in place. I, on the other hand, have to work on my own. Mm. Right then, let's give it nice and tight. Okay, so already, we have a pretty good structure, right? So, now we need to paper mash. So, for the paper mache, you'll need one part flour, two parts water. This is plain flour, um, so nothing special about it. I'm probably going to end up making a mess. That's okay though, because it's my kitchen or my work area. So, one part flour and one part, oh, two parts water. I'm going to have to go and get another cup, so I'm just going to put the first cup in very slowly. Give it a good stir, and then I'm going to get the second cup. So don't forget two cups, otherwise it gets a bit, a bit thick. Okay, here's the second cup. Give it a good stir. Try and get as many lumps out as you can. I mean, it's not a disaster if it is lumpy. To be honest, you can kind of um, squish them out as you're using the paste. It's not really uh, rocket science. Now, um, this needs to go in the microwave. So I put this in the microwave between, this is quite a big pot, so I'll put it in the microwave, I don't know, between 40 seconds and two minutes. It really depends on your microwave. Um, and what I do is I check it every 20 seconds, give it a little stir, and then uh, see if it's sort of thickening up. Now it's really important, it's going to be hot afterwards, so do be careful, and if you need, ask a grown up to help you.
So here's a close-up of my uh, paper mache after I put it in the microwave. It's quite thick. I think I got a bit carried away. I could have put it in maybe 10 seconds less. But if it's too thick, just add a little bit of water. Now, like I said before, be careful it's hot. You know, I'm holding it here with an R drag. You might want to let it cool down first. And whilst it's cooling down, you can start cutting your newspaper. Um, now, some people like to use um, PVA glue water down. Other people like to use wallpaper paste, which works really well as well. I like this because although it's messy, it's not horribly sticky, right? So it does work really well for me. So anyways, I'm going to let this cool down and I'm going to cut the newspaper and then we're going to get started. Okay, so we now have our bottles, we have our paper, we have our paper mache. Let's get making! It's so exciting. The first thing I'm going to do is turn it upside down because your stool is actually going to be this way. And then, basically, you have to get the paper mache paste and just get it all around. I'm going to stand up for this bit so my face won't be in it all the time. I'm sorry. And I cut some big strips and I also did some small strips um, because you want different sort of sized bits of paper to try and cover as much as possible. The small strips usually come in handy later on. Now literally this is all I'm going to do is cover the whole thing with newspaper. It's going to take a while, maybe 20 minutes, half an hour. Let's see. And then if I need more paper I will go and cut some more. Also, when you're doing paper mache, make sure you don't always put the, le the, the pieces of paper on in the same direction. You want to put them on in lots of different directions because that way you strengthen your paper um, and your, your final uh, craft because you've got sort of fibers going in each direction. I don't know if you can see, as I'm um, putting on these layers as I go around, I'm turning the, the bottles round. This is so that the start and finish pieces of my paper aren't always on the same spot. So it'll give you a more even distribution of the paper, but also strengthen it, uh, strengthen your overall craft because you haven't got you know all the newspapers attached in exactly the same way. It's really important that you get the, the paste all over the paper because uh, that the paste is with its starch in it that's what gives the um the paper its strength as well so when you are doing this um you know make sure the paper really is covered in lots of paste so that it can get nice and stiff and strong and won't rip afterwards paste like I said it's better to have too much than too little because you want this to work um, I've also whilst I was making the paste realized I think I want this to go a bit further down so I'm going to um, just add an extra layer of um, uh, you know paper mache around the bottom One last thing now. So we've got it done. One newspaper, I'm so impressed. Now, what I really, really want to do is I want to give it a quick wipe down at the bottom here because I don't know if you saw, I, I did do some smudging, which is okay. This is only, um, you know, flour and water. And I just want to wipe it down a bit. dry it's probably going to take a day or two um depends on how sunny and hot it is and then we're going to get painting right whilst this is drying i want to give you my top tips for paper mashing first um use long strips and short strips if i don't know if you noticed i always started off with the big ones first and then i got smaller and smaller as i went along and that i kind of do for two reasons one is you get a lot covered very quickly at the beginning so you feel a sense of progress um, but also the small pieces help give it structure uh, with smaller pieces you can go into the shape a bit better and it's a great way to kind of get detail into it um, 
and then so that's start off big go small um, especially if it's a big project if it's a small project start small and go even smaller or just do small actually if it's a really fine project the smaller your paper is the so this is tip number two the smaller the paper is the neater actually your project will be because you're able to mold it um, but because this is quite big the big strips are fine so that's the second tip so one is go from big to small second one is the smaller the neater third one is this is really important for any paper mache project i think is to change the direction of your paper so don't always put it in straight 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 but go straight you know not perpendicular straight perpendicular or even at one point i kind of went round like a little petal and flower so always change the direction of your paper mache fourth fourth tip um, I think you really need about three layers minimum for it to be nice and strong um, might be able to get away with two but you have to experiment three in this case I did um, up to five because you want to be able to sit on it you want this to be really durable so that's my next tip am I on tip number five now uh, tip number five um, lots of paper mache paste it's actually the paste that really gives your project strength uh, whether you're using the glue, PVA glue, or the flower version, or the uh, wallpaper one, do use a lot of glue. And I don't know if you saw at the end, I sometimes went over it just with a bit of glue and kind of smoothed it all down. Um, yeah, I think those are my tips. Uh, I think with paper mache, more is more, I think. Uh, but yes, those are my top tips. Anyway, we'll come back later and do some paint. Hello, welcome back. So we have a dried stool and here you can see we've been drawing and making little designs as to um, what we might want our turtle to look like. I think we've decided to go for this one. Is that right? Yes. Because this is going in Pipsqueak's room so Pipsqueak's going to help me today to paint it. So I'm going to help um, draw uh, the basic shape on and then you're going to start doing the painting, right? it don't forget to subscribe like uh, add to a playlist whatever you like and hopefully see you here again soon bye